Back chain link gang, chain link fam. We are looking at chain link on the daily time frame. So if you guys are new here, be sure to leave a like, comment, sub, all that fun stuff. If you gain any value out of this video, also don't forget to check out the link down below that will connect you to my other socials such as my X and Discord to stay up to date with Chainlink among other cryptos. That being said, let's hop right on into it. Daily time frame, we are seeing this like clearly across the board. Today is just an overall red day. We are seeing pretty nice drops in alts. Now, however, you can't be too sad unless you bought the top, but the alts have been moving up pretty nicely. Now, what we also can see just on the side of the screen there for a second. If it wants to come back on up, nope. All right, oh well. Anyway, so what you can see is we are currently just trading sideways right here. If you've been paying attention for like, I don't know, pretty much at all during this entire point on chain, Nick, we were talking about how this was accumulating and this would be our SOS or just market move. Either way, if this is our SOS, then we still have a overall market to unfold. And if this, is your markup then that means we're just going into a retrace or reaccumulation before we actually can continue to move back on up from there um that being said right now what are we necessarily seeing you can just look at this structure right here you see this high you see this high you see this high you see this low 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 all right wonderful so overall for the most part you are maintaining higher highs and higher lows and what you potentially, as long as this low actually ends up holding, which is at around like $12.86, right where my cursor is at right now, if that actually ends up holding and we don't dip below there, then what this actually might be is one of them bull flags or like bullish rectangles. Essentially, this is just a pit stop before it continues pushing further on up. Um, even if you were to come back on down to this yellow box down here, which is a range between about 1182 to 1229, Effectively, what that would mean is you have that little fake out move back on up, and then we actually are going to be seeing an even larger move unfold. Um, overall, I wouldn't say chain link looks necessarily too bad. And then, of course, if this is in fact our SOS or sign of strength, what that potentially means is that we might actually see a significant drawdown going all the way back on down just to back test the. Um, yeah, why can't I get this to work? Pretty much a decent sized move to back test the prior range highs, which even just like the very tip of that, that's gonna be 32%. You go down to the green line, that's uh, 37. And then the white one is around uh, 41. Now, anything lower than really $8, um, I don't think will actually be foreseeable in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I just wanna go over that. So smaller time frame, at least for right now, does look like you are potentially moving on up. If you were to V-shape out of this, then you're looking like even better than I thought. But overall, like I said, you are making higher highs. Uh, you did end up breaking this low right on over here, but the major low right now is that $12, um, 86, 87 cent. Um, other than that, right now, I would overall look for this to hold and then be looking for a further upside from here. If you end up getting rejected, you're not going to be making it past around like $16 in my opinion. Um, well, I guess if you are bearish, I don't think even if you were to get this move back on up here, I don't think you're going to make it past $16. Um, I think you'll get rejected before then. And then you would actually end up heading further back on down at least to that 1229 to 1182. So other than that, moving on up, next target area is going to be $19.24 to $20.14. Where we are right now, that is actually going to roughly be on the low end, 36%, high end, 42% gain towards the upside. So other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions, and you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.